Hello, my friends, and welcome to Blue Planet. This is a massive mod for Free Space 2, if you're unaware, the Free Space 2 open project. It's basically uh, kind of the unofficial Free Space 3, they're calling it. It takes place, uh, I think, 18 years, 14 or 18 years after uh, the original uh, Free Space 2 campaign. So several years after that, and it's comprised of three campaigns. Uh, well, basically two campaigns, but one is in two parts, the Age of Aquarius and the War in Heaven. These have been available previously as the uh, developers have worked on it, but it just was released in a complete version uh, recently, like a few weeks ago. So I'm going to be playing through many missions of the campaign, uh, pains, campaigns, starting with Age of Aquarius. And uh, since this is a story-based game, I'm just going to tell you now, if you plan on playing this yourself, uh, just stop now because this, there's going to be lots of spoilers, you know, because uh, it's a story-based campaign, so I'm going to be playing through it. But if not, please join me as we go through uh, several missions uh, of these campaigns. Now, there are 50 missions in total, roughly. more. They say more than 50. I don't know how many. Um, so the interesting thing about this is uh, besides running on the Free Space 2 open uh, engine, which you need Free Space 2 to run if you're unaware. And I'll include links in the notes um, for these videos as well as the um, the wiki on the website where one, you can buy, purchase Free Space 2 and two, where you can get the installer that not only installs Free Space Open but this as well. Uh, nice little Java based installer called the FSO installer. Um, very nice program. So basically uh, we're going to jump in from the beginning. Uh, also, this is the first time I've really dove in, dived, dove in, to Free Space 2 using a new stick. For years, I used a Satek HOTUS setup, but now I'm using my Force Feedback 2 Sidewinder stick from Microsoft. And since the game can only, do, the game can only see one device at a time, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be better or worse at this. Now, Force Feedback should be enabled but I'm not sure if it is. We'll find out. But um, let's start at the beginning. Now I'm not sure why. Um, when I loaded up a single player mission there was a graphic behind that little loading bar there, like a planet, which is very pretty, and now there isn't. I don't know why. Third party mods everyone. Mm-hmm. Remember, fans made this. And again, this takes place years after Free Space 2, so we're going to see new ships, uh, new fighters, all that stuff. <clears throat> Centaur Station Control. This is the GTD Orestes. We're making our final run to the Soul Jump Gate. Acknowledged, Orestes. The final run reads clear. Godspeed to your crew. Yeah, this is the GTC Britonia. Powering up some space drive. We're going in. Roger yeah. that. Britonia, mm. we'll see you on the other side. Yeah, they tried, they apparently made a gate to take them back to Earth, I believe. Is how this goes. We'll find out. They use that crazy gate from Free Space 2 that you f that you get to the nebula with. Help, uh, activate subspace drive. I love that accent. Again, this is free. How cool does this look? And this is free. People worked on this for years. Apparently the first iteration of this came out in 2007? I think? I've never played really any of these. I've toyed with maybe the first mission, so this is all this is all new to me. Oh, there we go, a graphic. Look at that. Cool. I was wondering about that. Inbox. Okay, cool. 
I extend a warm welcome Ooh. to all new officers, crew, and pilots who have recently arrived to the Orestes. I am looking forward to sharing this voyage with all of you. Okay. I hope you will find this tour of duty challenging and rewarding. And awesome. The Orestes is the newest destroyer to be commissioned by GTVA Command. She is the flagship of the 14th Battle Group and has been assigned the honor of leading our first task force through the Sol subspace portal. Which we just watched. This mission is the culmination of years of dedication and work by our species. Words cannot adequately convey how proud I am to share in this experience with all of you. The Orestes will be carrying on the legacy of her forebearers, and your service here will only extend the ship's proud history. Serve her well, and you will be distinguished. Okay, that's cool. This is fully voiced by people. Greetings, pilot, and welcome to the Orestes. I am Captain Al Fadil, your squadron leader. I will be your liaison to quarterdeck and will be giving you your briefings and debriefings for each of your sorties. Cool. The 222nd Night Wolves has been given the honor of accompanying the 14th Battle Group into Seoul. We have also been given the additional honor of being based aboard the Orestes. So appreciate the luck that has brought you here. We at the 222nd have to maintain the superlative record that the squadron has built up over the years. Though the names of the pilots may change, the Nightwolves tradition clearly has not. I expect each of you to fly to the best of your ability, and I will tolerate no insult to the squadron's name. <coughs> I will be briefing you on your first mission as soon as the task force enters the Sol system. Until then, take some time to familiarize yourself with the schematics of the Orestes <sighs> and the fighters and bombers. We will be flying many of these strike craft in times to come. Versatility and adaptability. This is what makes an outfit such as ourselves. Captain Al Fadil, 222nd Night Wolves. I like the range of voice actors they've got so far. Oh. For the attention of Commander Samuel Bay. I guess that's me. I don't know what possessed you to transfer to the Arresty Samuel. You've got some nerve. I still haven't forgiven you for your negligence in the Capellan Massacre. What? Understand that you'll get no favors from me while you're on board my ship. Also understand that our relationship here will be nothing but professional. Yeah. Okay. I guess the Aurora is the first thing we're going to be fighting. I mean flying. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's... That's pretty cool. That's a nice little intro to the, the universe and what you're doing and fully voiced with decent writing and good voice acting. You know, that's pretty that's pretty nice. By the way, I'm getting over a cold so my voice might break every now and again. All right. At 10:40 hours, the GTD Orestes and her battle group exited the Salt subspace node. We are the first personnel outside Seoul to travel to the system since the Lucifer Cataclysm 50 years ago. That's Free Space One. Upon arrival, the Orestes and the GTT Temeraire began a sensor sweep of the system. What we have found is not what we were led to expect. Okay. Our intelligence data does not correlate with that collected from unmanned probes sent into the system on a prior mission. We have been unable to identify any ships within the immediate vicinity, nor have we been able to detect any communication activity. We are currently broadcasting GTA transponder codes on all frequencies throughout the system. Without any way of knowing who will respond, we need to send out a reconnaissance flight to find out what's out there. Okay, I guess that's me. We Night Wolves will be taking a wing of Aurora Recon Fighters to explore the surrounding area. Commander Bay, you will lead Alpha Wing. All right. We need you to jump to Earth Sector and identify any Terrene ships in the area. Orestes Control will be transmitting the coordinates to your flight computer. Once you have arrived at the designated area, follow the patrol pattern and keep your scans active. Okay. We do not yet know what state the Earth will be in, so be careful out there. It's been a while. Eyes peeled and maintain your transponder codes at all times. 
One thing to remember while you're out there, pilots. You'll be the closest anyone in your generation has been to Earth. You are also likely to be the first non-GTA personnel that anyone in Seoul has seen. As a first contact representative of the GTVA, I expect full flight discipline out there. Okay. Okay, can't select anything. Alright, let's hit it. Oh, interesting. I guess they have an in-flight... Uh, sure, let's do it. Why not? I mean, it's cool. I mean, I didn't know they'd have training. But let's let's check it out. Oh. Welcome to Training Simulator Module 121. Field checks for combat pilots with concussion-induced skill loss. Please look at the buoy to certify that you are conscious. <laughs> what? The buoy? What buoy? That buoy? Press the forward thrust key to throttle up, or press the set throttle to max key to maximize your throttle. Go fast to stay alive. Don't ram things. <laughs> okay. Press the target next closest hostile ship key to target the enemy. Red is bad. Match speed with the match target speed key, or stop with the set throttle to pretend the nearby fighters are bombs. Pilots must shoot down many bombs. Press the target next hostile bomb or bomber key to t You must shoot down bombs to protect vital ships. Press the target next escort ship key to cycle through important ships. Your afterburner is vital to going very fast. Press the afterburner key to afterburner until you run out of fuel. Fuel recharges. Fire all your weapons once to complete the game. Use the fire primary weapon key for guns, and the fire secondary weapon key for missiles. Use the cycle forward primary weapon key to change guns, and the cycle secondary weapon bank key to change missiles. Okay. Fire one of each weapon. You want me to fire my missiles too? Seems like a waste. You should now remember all basic combat skills. If you do not, press escape and repeat the training cycle. Consult your manual for command and energy skills. Okay. Sure. Alpha wing, form up on me. Roger, sir. Moving to formation. Commander Bay, I'm Lieutenant Corey. It's a pleasure to be flying with you, sir. Ensign Taylor, at your service, sir. Roger that, Corey. Taylor, pleasure to be working with you. Okay, so... so uh, control, this is the Orestes. You're clear to jump out. Good luck out there. Okay. Acknowledged, Orestes Control. We'll keep you informed of anything we find. Jumping out, now. Do I have to jump? Where is the temporary going? To Mars, Alpha 3. Admiral Bay thinks that we'll have a better chance of finding something over more spread out through the system. Alpha Wing, your jump coordinates have been transmitted to your navigation computer. You're free to jump at any time. Roger that, OST's control. Alpha Wing, you're okay. to jump out at these coordinates. Here we go. That's a neat looking fighter. There we go. Background. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Earth control, we have achieved Earth orbit. We Whoa. Are... What the hell? Whoa. Holy crap. What the hell happened to Earth? Whoa. Are we even at Earth? What the hell? Sensor positioning reads correctly. You mean? This is Earth, all right. But how? What happened? 
calibrating sensor pod to scan the planet's surface. That's me, apparently. Sensor data confirmed. I'm reading no sign of life anywhere on Earth. Nothing. What the hell? What happened? I'm sure the developers or whoever's watching this and it's like... Ooh. You're right, Commander. In fact, scanners aren't picking up anything on the planet. It's just... rubble. What are like those it? red glows? Are they volcanoes? Or red glows. I'm oh, reading that's... increased tectonic activity in the Earth's crust, volcanic eruptions, and a planet-wide ash cloud. It looks like the planet was subjected to massive orbital bombardment. There's nothing left. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, those red glows over there. I don't know if you can oh, see them in control. the stream. I'm transmitting my sensor logs now. Everything's gone. I'm picking up no signs of life in the vicinity. Please advise. Over. Acknowledged. Alpha Wing, we're receiving your sensor feeds now. Orders remain the same. Continue your patrol and update us if you encounter anything. Roger that, Orestes. Continuing patrol. I can't believe it. Everything. Gone. Yeah, that is crazy. Who did this? I can't believe it either, Alpha 3. Of all the scenarios I had imagined, this was one I never entertained. Yeah, what the hell's going on? I had family on? in San Francisco. How can they all be dead? Well, we don't know they're dead. I had family in Guangzhou, Alpha 3. I understand how you feel, but what can we do about it? What we can do is find out who was responsible for this catastrophe. Commander Bay is right, Taylor. We need to gather information to find out who did this. I'm calibrating my sensors to search for debris other than Terran. These Aurora sensor modules ought to be good for something. That's a good idea, Alpha 2. Alpha 3, you and I will do the same. Maybe there's whatever's left of whoever did this floating around here somewhere. Roger, Commander. I just wish... I didn't expect to see a dead planet on my first trip to Earth. Damn it. It's good voice acting. I gotta admit, they get the emotions. They do the emotions pretty well. I'm convinced that these are actual... Like, people. That's pretty cool. And I like how you're not Alpha 1 this time. You're actually a guy with a name. I think that's cool. <coughs> Excuse me. I think that is very, very cool. Do -do -do -do. Almost there. Almost there. I like how they implemented a waypoint system by using the escort uh, functionality. Because I don't think the original Free Space games had like Wing We've Commander the style waypoint. waypoints. Making course for the second. Hang on now for one. I've up what looks like a faint energy signature. Can't pinpoint the source, but it's coming from around 10 clicks from here. My scanners read it too, Alpha 2. Let's go see what it is. Initiating course change. I... what signal? I can't target a signal. Oh, there it is. Okay. Purple thing. How are you holding up, Taylor? Fine, Corey. I'm okay. It's just... This was just... Unexpected. None of us expected this, Alpha 3. But I'm glad you're okay. We'll be back at the Oresty soon enough. They'll know what to do. Probably not. Probably not. Uh, the, the, yeah, I, I love how they're using the warble on the radar. That's that's always creepy. That, that worked well in Free Space too, so I'm glad they're using that again. Warble, warble, warble. I can't target anything yet. Nope. Still can't target anything. Nope. Nope. Whoa. Okay. <sighs> yep, can't target anything. Did they give me a missile back? I guess they gave me missiles back when I jumped or something. Because it looks like I have a full complement now. That's handy. 
Okay, I don't know what this thing is. I don't want to burn up to it. We're flying toward it, right? Yeah, pretty much. Gotta be. It's right in front of me. Yeah. We're flying the right direction. Okay. Cool. That's not that's nice. That my computer would tell me that. Or else I'd be like, where the fuck are we going? Look at Earth. <laughs> Look at all that I don't know if you can see it on the on the left there. But it's like all just red and black. It's amazing. Oh, what's that? I see something. It's an escape pod. What the hell? GTEP? What the hell is the GTEP? Confirmed, Alpha 3. This looks like the source of the beacon. The power seems to be all but out, however. No life signs aboard. Shit. What do we do with it? Orestes Control. This is Alpha 1. We found the derelict escape pod with a transponder. Oh. Requesting a transport crew to pick it up. And we're gonna have to protect Roger, that. Alpha aren't we? Wing. we are sending someone on the way now to pick it up. Stay in the area until it arrives. Yeah. You seem on pretty close terms with the rest of control, Alpha One. Is the Admiral your father or something? You've both got the same name. I lost yeah. my father at Capella, Alpha Three. Are you sure? You both really look similar. Yeah, I'm sure. What the hell kind of question is that, Alpha Three? The guy's father is dead. Sheesh. I was just asking, guy. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll leave him alone. There are over 300 bays enlisted in the GTB-8, Taylor. The name similarity is... Guys, calm down. Evidence. This is the GTT Cyrus. I hear you need something picked up. Good to see you, Cyrus. One escape pod waiting for you right there. Okay. Whoa! Fade out. We've docked with the escape pod. Initiating subspace now. Oh wow, okay, they didn't make me hang around to okay. protect it. Alpha Wing, return to base for debriefing. We'll go over your flight records once you arrive. Alright. That's a really cool looking ship. I dig it. Good job in finding the escape pod pilots. Analysis has revealed that most of the computer banks remain intact, and extraction of the memory cores is currently in progress. Identification of the escape pod's inhabitants is now underway. Hopefully, we'll be able to find out who is responsible for annihilating all life on Earth. I know, right? We are as mystified by the fate of the Earth as you are, pilots. We came here expecting a joyful reunion with our ancestral home, but instead... Hey. Not, we find yeah. death and destruction. This has been a bitter pill for us to swallow. Orestes Control will transfer our findings to GTBA Command and await further orders. In the meantime, you are dismissed. Do not discuss your findings with anyone until the Admiral decides to release this information. <sighs> Counseling services are available huh. should any of you require them. Pilots. Okay, this... That was... Interesting that they didn't just throw whoever the enemy is at you in the first mission. I kind of like that. It kind of is like a slow burn. It kind of makes it creepy. You know? I like that. It's a mystery. I dig it. So we're going to do one more mission in this entry. These entries are going to be a little longer because these missions are, take a little longer. But I want to get at least eight or ten missions in for this series. So let's do one more. We're going to try and do two missions per entry. So let's do one more. To the officers and crew of the 14th Battle Group, this is Admiral Bay, GTD Orestes. We have begun to finalize preparations to establish our forces in this system. Reconnaissance flights have returned from seeking out sources of Terran activity around Earth and Mars. The data we have gathered is a disturbing contradiction to previous intelligence gathered by surveillance probes sent before us. As yet, we are at a loss as to how to account for the discrepancies we have uncovered. 
Earth as we knew her is no more. Her proud cities, forests, countless animal species and ecosystems are gone. Our stations and ships, including the first fleet, are nowhere to be found. Instead, a debris field rings our planet while nothing but scorch marks are all that is left on the ground. By all appearances, our Earth and her colonies throughout the system <sighs> have suffered the same fate as Vasuda Prime. At present, we do not know who was responsible for Earth's fate. Our analysts are going over data collected from our scans of the system, as well as previous data collected from unmanned probes. We have tried to contact GTVA command regarding our findings, but have received no response. We huh. suspect that due to the nature of the subspace portal, even transmissions at maximum strength have difficulty in traveling through. We oh are boy. deploying the GTC Duke through to Delta Serpentes to reestablish contact with command. In oh the boy. meantime, our primary objective is to search the system for any survivors of the attack. Okay. I am ordering the fleet to maintain a heightened state of alertness until we have confirmed the nature of these findings. The similarity of the attack to the one at Vasuda Prime suggests a Shivan origin. Mm -hmm. Currently, there is no way to tell if Shivan forces are still in the system or whether they have left through another uncharted jump node. Our secondary objective in this system is to identify any alternative entry and departure points from the system. Shivan movements in the first and second Shivan incursions suggested that they are as dependent on subspace nodes as we are. Hmm. If that is the case, there should be another subspace node somewhere in the system. We shall grieve for our blue planet, but in the fullness of time. Our main objective is to secure the sector and ensure the safety of our ships in the days to come. That's not ominous at all. Here we go. All right, Night Wolves, it's time for another reconnaissance mission. As you have just heard, mm. Earth is toast, and so is every other colonized planet and moon in this system. Until intelligence is finished analyzing that shuttle we picked up, we have no idea when this attack occurred. Either our probes were picking up false signals, or the attack happened right between the probe deployments and our arrival here. So, you see the name of this mission, the Dragon Awakes? Yeah, that can't be good. Assuming the attack was relatively recent, there's got to be some survivors out there. Orestes Tactical has identified several areas in the system that could serve as ideal hiding spots for survivors. We've been sent to patrol the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter orbits. The density of the field makes it a hazardous place, but it also scrambles any external sensor sweeps. Ah. Very handy for anyone who needs to hide out for a while. Okay, cool. Commander Bay, you'll be taking Alpha Wing. Since you seem to be doing just fine with Terra and Cory, they'll be joining up with you for this mission. Cool. Pilot Nero will be coming with you as well. He has just arrived from the Temeraire, and he's been Ooh. itching to get some action. Temeraire! I will be taking Zeta Wing into another part of the asteroid field. We'll keep in communication and coordinate our searches together. Keep your eyes peeled and your sensors at the maximum. If there's someone in there, we will find them. Okay. Oh, I know what we're going to find in here. Bad guys! Ooh. RSC's control. Alpha Wing is in the asteroid field. All fighters, form up on me. Oh, man. Look at all Agent them asteroids. Alpha Wing, we've uploaded the search pattern into your flight navigation Whoa. computer. Whoa! Good luck out there. Lieutenant Nehru here, Alpha One. Glad to be working with you, sir. Thanks. Welcome to the team, Nehru. Sir, are you really the Admiral's son? Oh, God. I've just heard stuff going around, and... Everyone asks him that, Nehru. He's denied it every time. Uh, I mean, it's gonna come up later at some pivotal point. <laughs> what? Do I need to put up a great big sign on my fighter saying, Not the Admiral's son. He's not my father. Uh, okay, sir. Sorry for asking. 
Sorry. Oh, is he Canadian? Oh, that's precious. <laughs> it's adorable. <clears throat> okay. I don't want to burn in, around these asteroids, so we're just going to cruise. We're just going to cruise over there. Yeah, I don't think force feedback is doing nothing. No. That's a shame. I'm pretty sure I turned it on. I'll see. I'll try and turn it off for the next entry. Okay, there's waypoint one, right there. Appleby, did you read that? My senses have picked oh. up an object not far from here. Purple warble. Similar to the one we found at Earth sector. Might be another pod. Let's go check it out. Purple warble. This would be a good place to hide, wouldn't it? All these asteroids around here. Oh, they're right there. Cool. Still not seeing nothing. What's that? Is that an asteroid? Something looks like it's on fire. That's no escape pod. It's a fighter. A Sheevan fighter. A what? Confirmed. Manticore class. Aristus Control, we have a problem here. We read you Alpha Wing. The situation has been updated. Destroy that Sheevan fighter. Right. Right. Sheevan huh. fighter is toast. It didn't put up a fight at all. It just sat there. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, whoa. What? Ah! Fuck. Whoa. Uh, Commander? I think we just woke something up. Um. We got hostiles all around us. They're coming in fast. Who are they? What are. What the? What? What is that? Shevens. We've got Sheevan dragons coming in. All pilots. Evasive maneuvers. Aristis Control, we need an update. There we go. There's too many of them. Get us out of here, Resty's control. Stand by, Alpha Wing. We are sending reinforcements that will be arriving soon. Roger, boss. Shiva, that's your six. Alpha Wing, for the moment we're stuck here until reinforcements arrive. Fight for your very life. Each one of you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shit, shit. Notice my own shields. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Shit. Oh. Really? Yeah. We're here to help you out. Zeta Wing, let's toss these Shabbat bastards. <sighs> wow. They did not fuck around. RSC's control. Do that again. Wing is in the asteroid field. All fighters, form up on me. <clears throat> we read you, Alpha Wing. We've uploaded the search pattern into your flight navigation computer. Good luck out there. Lieutenant Nehru here, Alpha One. Glad to be working with you, sir. Welcome to the team, Nehru. Oh, I gotta make sure. Sir, are you really the Admiral's son? Oh, I've just heard stuff going around, and. And what? Uh, what am I looking for? I was looking for something. No, oh, those are all good. Hang on. So, this does... Attacking ship. 
Okay, so I want to be hitting button 7 a lot. Okay. Everyone asks him that, Nehru. He's denied it every time. What? Do I need to put up a great big sign on my fighter saying, Not the Admiral's son? What? Not Shoot my on those asteroids. Come uh, on, guys. Okay, sir. Sorry for asking. Oh, that's what I was looking for. The, uh... I could totally forget what it is. No, I don't. Shit, hang on. Um, sorry! Engage enemy. Uh, shift E. Okay, Shift E. That's what I want. Shift E and Shift A are the ones I gotta focus on. Okay. Did you read that? My senses have picked up an object not far from here. It seems similar to the one we found at Earth Sector. Might be another pod. Let's go check it out. I'm pretty sure, yeah, doing this on normal difficulty too. <laughs> I got my ass kicked, you guys. That was crazy. I'm impatient. <laughs> That's no escape pod. It's a fighter. A Sheevan fighter. Confirmed. Manticore class. Aristus Control, we have a problem here. We read you, Alpha Wing. The situation has been updated. Destroy that Sheevan fighter. Okay. Right, Marcus. Consider it done. Sheevan fighter is toast. It didn't put up a fight at all. Woo! He felt that. <laughs> Yeah, I laugh now, and then... Uh, Commander? I think we just woke something up. Yes, we Look did. Look all around us. They're coming in fast. Who are they? Can't target them yet. Sheevans. Sheevans. We've got Sheevan dragons coming in. All pilots. Evasive maneuvers. Aristus Control, we need an update! Free fire acknowledged, sir. There's too many of them! I'll Get just us out of deal with Aristus Control. Whoa! -ho. Alpha Wing, we are sending reinforcements. They will be arriving soon. Alpha Wing, <sighs> for the moment we're stuck here until reinforcements arrive. Fight for your very life. Each one of you. Really? Already? Set our goddamn asteroid. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotta use missiles once in a while. 
Watch it, boss. Shivan, at your six. Okay, that's the guy attacking me. Handy, button. Handy. Thanks for the warning. Ah. Ha <laughs> I hit the asteroid. Zeta 1, all fighters return to base on the double. We're sending out a full assault wing to sweep the area. Okay. Oh, I made it that time. Phew! Got a couple kills, too. The Shivan presence in the asteroid was entirely unexpected and has great implications regarding the attack on Earth. <sighs> We think the fighters you encountered were remnants of the attack force responsible for the Earth devastation. Okay. They must have missed their ticket back home. Admiral Bay believes they were put there into standby until the destroyer or transport arrived to pick them up. Huh. Our incursion into the field must have reactivated them. Still, your flying out there was excellent, pilots. Outnumbered and outgunned. Ooh, I got a medal. Shivan fighters, you managed to fight them off and come away alive. Admiral Bay has decreed that all surviving pilots in your wing receive the Distinguished Flying Cross for superlative flying under difficult conditions. Wear it with pride. Lieutenant Nehru died on the fire today. Huh. He wanted to experience action, but fell afoul of the Shivans, and fate decreed his time was at hand. We will avenge his death, pilots, but in time. Well, okay, that was um, fairly eventful. Uh, I get it's. I wonder if that was scripted uh, that that pilot was supposed to die. But um, that's cool that they have a thing right there that they said. You know, we missed this guy. They never really did that much in the uh, original game. It's like Alpha Three died. Whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, that was pretty great. So uh, we will see you. Or I uh, we. Me and the 14th Battle Group, uh, we'll see you for the next, uh, next set of missions. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.